it's a lot of fun. It's not just about the netting, it's about the fun aspect, and it's also about um, everyone wants to see the greatest shore on earth uh, be beached. How's it uh, guys? Yeah, we're here at uh, Cizela uh, in, the midst, in the midst of the sardine run. Action as you can see all over, a lot of action, um, a lot of shark action. The sharks actually come in close as they bring the nets in. Uh, all that oil and all that dead fish that comes off the nets, uh, it actually attracts the sharks and the sharks come right within casting distance, all these big 200 kilo sharks. I'm going to throw a bait just in this trough here. I'm just going to use a normal trace. It's a full metal jacket, a 12-0 tuna uh, demon circle hook, mustard demon circle, 200 pound steel, full length, uh, about a one and a half meter, and I'm using a 220 pound leader. So I'm just going to show you how I make the bait. It's just going to be a bloody sardine bomb bait. Basically, it's about a couple of sardines just wrapped together on this piece of wire. Basically, this is known as a dingle dangle, this piece of wire. So we're going to tie our bait around it like that and then we're going to hook our, 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 our sinker or, or weight or lead on that. So basically you're going to, you're going to get something like this, like this. So when you throw your bait, it's a streamline action so everything just goes as one. And when it hits the water, that clips off and then your bait's free. So it's basically a device just we use for to get maximum distance on your cast so so yeah this is basically what I'm gonna do straightforward nothing fancy I'm just gonna hook a sardine behind there as a base To run a sardine operation um, costs in an average of 1.5 million. Uh, this is vehicles, net, staffing, uh, the license. So it's a lot of cash injection that goes into the operation every year. So the netters got to recover this money and they got to make money. But most netters do give a lot of fish away to the community. Most of the time when we net on the beaches, um, especially in the larger shoals, we take out um, we have a capacity of carrying about 500 crates per net, so we take out the five, four, 500 crates. Any extra there, we open it up to the public. Today I am with Rani from Baked with Love. Uh, she's here in to uh, Mems and Toti. I've actually met up with her a while back where I've sampled some of her cooking and she made an awesome, awesome, awesome divine prawn bunny chow. So I've approached her again since I was down here on this uh, 2020 sardine run. Thank you Rani for having me and I'm sure you, you're going to make a killer awesome uh, prawn bunny and show the viewers out there and uh, I'll get to sample it, not y'all. Okay Anand, let's go make our prawn bunny Yeah, 100%. I can't wait. Fine. We're going to lightly fry our um, onion, chili, curry leaf um, in oil until lightly brown. And okay, now onions are slightly brown. Just going to add the spices with the ginger and garlic. Just adding a little bit of fine salt
we've had such a hard day at the water fishing uh, now to come to this guys yeah I'm um, speechless lovely prawn bunny like subscribe share in any which order you want to but please check out our uh, catch cook uh, YouTube channel and uh, Facebook check out our cool merchandise and uh, yeah there's a lot of other giveaways weekly giveaways also so in saying that I'm gonna love and leave you uh, I'm gonna be tackling this awesome 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 bunny chow guys before it gets too cold I'm gonna go for it <laughs>